Hello, ladies and gentlemen. There's been a lot of dangerous things that have happened recently to us. Joey got shot, we almost drowned, so we've decided to chill out and do something safer for once. So we're gonna see how much duct tape it takes to completely disable a firearm. So uh, you got good trigger, just one. Damn it. This one one of these this days. This, I've, I'll never be comfortable with this. Is that the ultimate test of the quality of duct tape, is if it can stop a bullet or not? Yes. Oh, that's for the uh, later, we have another experiment. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just ignore that one for now. How many rolls do you think it's gonna take to disable that gun, that firearm? Um, right there? more than we have, is my guess. I'm thinking four rolls. This is a video that's not gonna take long to watch, but it's gonna take forever to film, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, it's one of those. Yeah. Here you go. Yeah, it's okay. They're not like they're bullets or anything. They are, they fell in the worst place they could they have possibly did. They really did. Fallen. I call not putting the tailgate up at that. the end of the video. <laughs> Shh, don't worry. They're just tiny little bombs. <laughs> it's time to see if they work, Tyler. Time to see if they work. Time to see if Raycons work as earbuds. I mean, I can barely hear right now, so I'm gonna go shoot something. All right. Mine works. <laughs> mine I, works. That one works. Yep. Now we know. Oh, mine jammed. <laughs> <laughs> the guy at the pawn store did say, you get what you pay for. He tried to talk me out of it, basically. <laughs> yeah, $99 for that. Oh, wow. Well, if you shoot once, yeah. yeah, you can defend yourself once. Firing again. You got balls to shoot that thing twice. What? I just don't trust a $99 gun in my hand. It's fine. All right, we know it works, Tyler. You're wasting ammo. When are you gonna shoot 380? <laughs> um, this one's on safety. It cannot fire, so I'm going to wrap tape around it. Make sure you don't cover the trigger, obviously. Or the safety. Yeah, or the safety, We gotta actually. turn it off. Fuck, my safety is like right where- Yeah, mine is too. How am I gonna- I mean, the, the tape just has to cover the barrel. If I, yeah, if I get it right there, I can still do the safety, and it still goes fully around the gun. It's like arts and crafts, but for adults. This is a, uh, this is a sketch. <laughs> Slower than Tyler. Tyler sounds like he's going fucking ham over there. What? My God! I have to like narrowly dodge this this thing. It's, that's a lot harder for me. Gorilla tape is harder to pull. A lot more stickiness behind it too. And for the next few hours, we just wrapped tape around guns. It was a lot of fun, and I will say, if you've got one of those rubber kinks, this is probably a fun video for you. It's a good sound. I don't even know where the barrel is. I'm just going where I previously taped before. I'm impressed you still got tape left. <laughs> God damn. There's so much. Yeah, you get a lot more tape with the Gorilla Tape. Yep. Uh, this feels comical. I feel it looks like a slipper. <laughs> There's a slipper on my gun. <laughs> <laughs> this is comical. Oh my god. And I can uh, I think I can activate my safety? Yeah, I can. Hey, let's see. Oh, I'm scared. Hey. Yeah, hey. This video is brought to you by Incogni. Every year the scope of data breaches worldwide is rising. Your personal information like your social security number, login credentials, and online activity is all up for grabs. Who are you? Where did you come from? It's often sold to businesses or worse, falling into the hands of criminals. Imagine discovering huge loans taken out under your name or your health insurance rates spiking just because of your online activity. Even those stupid pesky robocalls you get throughout the day are likely due to data brokers who sell your number. But thanks to Incogni, there's finally a solution to this madness. Incogni will reach out to data brokers on your behalf, request your personal data removal and deals with any objections. They'll even conduct repeated removals to ensure that your data stays stays off the market. With their yearly subscription, Incogni continues to protect your data privacy, giving you peace of mind. So do not wait until it's too late. Take control of your digital footprint today with Incogni. So use my link below to start your journey towards a safer digital life. And for the first 100 people that use my code Duck Studios, are gonna get 60% off of Incogni. Anyways, thank you Incogni for uh, sponsoring this video. It really helps us out. And if this is somebody's cat, uh, please let me know. Otherwise, it's mine. Scientific test number one, how much you duct got some, tape. Got some is it gonna take? I don't think it's gonna be enough. I think it's gonna fire. You don't think this is enough? Right through. Straight on through to the yep, other side. To the other side. Yep. Let me get the safety off. Let's probably get a. Uh, oh string. yeah, get the string. If I don't make it out of this alive, um, tell. Yeah, there's really nobody who's gonna care. So. Cover. Do not kill my phone. My second phone. This one's for the hose. It never rings. I was gonna say yeah, it hasn't like, rang once. It probably doesn't even have a SIM card <laughs> in it. It doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. So I figured there wasn't really a point. <laughs> We're just gonna get far away or something? Or? Um, not really worried about hiding trees. this time. Where is the beginning of this string? Turning on our super high tech slow motion camera. Uh, uh, you guys wanna find your hiding places this is or tents? Oh, I've got mine behind me. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't taking any chances. 
You think we have enough string to make it to the next county? Three, two, one! <laughs> it didn't explode. <laughs> Are you hit? Are you? <laughs> what happened? Put the duct tape way too high is what happened. I think it would have went through regardless. Yeah, I think so. Because it looks like, yeah, that's the last piece and it cut through it. But, woo, that might fire again. Yeah. Oh, look at the fucking Another round. It ejected the mag. Well, that makes me just want to go all out on this one and just wrap all of the tape on this one. Because this, this one's nine minutes, so it's just In bigger. Video's gonna be two minutes. We just released a 40 minute video. So yeah. if we release an eight minute video, yeah. then shut the fuck up. We're working oh. on something big. Just wait. Just wait. That'll slot right in there and that'll count for one whole Nice. Yeah, that's you're like saving that. me money. I'll be away from you guys, so if it goes off, maybe I'll be the only one who dies. Time for some more taping and a little bit of drunk driving, I'm pretty sure. How's it going there? I got two more rolls. Nice. Well, while you're doing that, I'm gonna dig the hole for uh, experiment number two. We have another one? Yeah. Oh God. Well, we had an extra gun laying around. I figured we may as well destroy it. May as well, right? Yeah. What the fuck was that? That was a rock, I'm sure it wasn't a gas main or something. Somebody ordered six rolls of duct tape on a gun? No, take it back. Oh, okay. okay. That's fine, it's supposed uh, to do that. Uh, yeah, I can jam that in there. That's a good size hole. It's time for test number two. So let's get her set up and blow her up. Let's blow her. Put all the duct tape on it and we're just gonna see what happens. Because we're impatient, man. Yeah, we're, we're very impatient, it only took us one time. And we're like, fuck this. There's six rolls of duct tape. Six rolls of duct tape. There we go. It's got a good click though, you know when it's mm -hmm. not safe. It is it is pointed right at that rock though. Three, two, one. Fuck! It's moving! Oh! It's moving. It won't pull the trigger! I know, it's just rotating. Oh, it's under the trigger. Why why are you hiding over there? Ah, don't worry about it. What? Two! One! Finally! Um, it went out the top. Fuck. <laughs> I think th this duct tape just sucks so much ass that I just don't think it's gonna stop anything. Yeah, it just went, uh... It barely even tapes. Oh, yeah, this, that's the exit right there. Oh, uh, it goes straight that through? That right there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So it did go straight through. It did. It I, just blew it out the duct tape bulk. at the top. So three rolls of duct tape cannot stop a whatever the fuck this round is that nobody uses. 380. <laughs> Three, two, one. Ah! It won't pull the trigger. I'm pulling it. I can see it go to the gun. Like it's. See? Oh, yeah, there's nothing. But I'm like, how is there nothing in it? Because there was something in it. There is something in it. There's what? No, it. The trigger's pulling, but nothing's happening. Oh. Like there's nothing. It, apparently, there's no bullet in the gun. I can see the brass. Three, two, one. Nope. Yeah, something's going on. There's the round that was in it. All right, now it's. Loaded on safety. Three, two, one. Ah! Yeah, for some reason, this gun just doesn't want to work. They've got some ah. weird advanced safety feature Damn. that doesn't allow it to shoot when there's duct tape applied to it or some shit like that. I don't know. I do not like that. I do not like that one bit. It's just to the ground. So the hammer on this one goes back. Maybe it's stuck on the tape. What if we just throw rocks at it <laughs> from a safe distance? It was stuck on the string. Something about it being in there. God, that was loud. I don't know what it is keeps this gun from firing, but yes, duct tape can disable a gun. Let's move on to the next one. Experiment number two. Have you ever wondered if your gun was dead and you buried it and then shot it, what would happen? Zombie gun? What would happen if you buried your gun and shot it? Zombie gun. Zombie gun. Zombie gun. No one's ever tested it. Scour the internet. No really? one has ever buried a gun in the ground mm -hmm. and then shot it. Someone will probably find a clip somewhere oh, of them doing it, but Here's we're gonna do it. We've got here a seven mil, big old boy. Big boy. Chonk that in there. Well, this should be exciting. Does this hurt the gun? No, he doesn't feel anything. Okay, good. It, I, was, I was worried. Whatever. Don't misjudge the gun. You're gonna piss off the left and the right <laughs> doing that. Hey! Hey, that worked that pretty well. That work. Oh, you can't put the safety on when it's loaded. That makes sense, you know. We're doing it with a live gun. Slorp. I want it to be basically as deep as it can be. Oh yeah, throw it back. Yeah. Woo! You don't, you don't get content like this anywhere else. Right Woo! back on. Woo! Oh, fuck my ass. Wanna be a cowboy, <laughs> baby. <laughs> a shovel would have been good. 
shovel would have been good. I'm sure there's one here, but I'd rather yeah. waste our time. Oh yeah, we're, we're already like, yeah. standing here. All right, folks, the grand finale. This is the one that could throw shrapnel. Three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't waste your money on all those fancy suppressors in the gun store. Just bury your gun in dirt. I'm gonna try and really jam her in there this time. Two, one. Oh, it popped up a little bit. <laughs> She's still good. That's a fucking good, good ass gun. Who made that gun? Savage Arms. Savage Arms, you savage. Two, one. Yeah. We did it. Well, perfectly fine. Oh, Peanut. barrel. Oh, yeah. It ruined the barrel. Let's, uh, we can hose it off. Yeah. It's got a muzzle brake on it. <laughs> oh, Todd, did you hear that one? What? Oh, man, it's got a muzzle brake on it. <laughs> Proper gun cleaning technique Ooh. right here. Make sure to get it down the, the actual chamber. And just whenever you're done, make sure not to dry it off at all. Oh, let, yeah. let the you water want, seep in. You want in. the metals to corrode. Yeah. It helps build strength and add character to your rifle. <laughs> oh yeah, gotta get that stock. Uh, that's how I clean all my guns, isn't that right? No. No, uh, no, not right at all. And I would still use this one. That still looks good. That'll blow off. How are you alive? Look at that curve on it. If, if Damn, that's bodacious. You don't sight mm. I should call her. She got <laughs> curved. God damn. Look at that hole, too. <laughs> what have we found out today, Tyler? Um, we, uh, we wasted a lot of time. Yeah, we suck. Yeah, the, that's the, what we learned. <laughs> Thanks for clicking on the video. <laughs> the gun videos never turn out as spectacular mm. as we hope they do. We did learn something. Mm. If we do a gun video, bring Tanner right. Yes, to make it interesting. Mm -hmm. When it's ul uh, ultimately not interesting. Then we blow shit up. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for watching this gun video. Let us know some more experiments to try and put ourselves in the lines of danger so that you don't have to. Line of fire. I'm surprised Joey hasn't quit yet. Thanks for watching this one, boys. I expected it to be a little more exciting. Unfortunately, it wasn't, but that's how it goes with scientific experiments. If you're wanting something more exciting, then maybe go watch our 24-hour boat challenge if you haven't yet. Or maybe this other video. But anyways, thanks for watching this one and keep an eye out because we are working on something big. I just don't know when it will be out yet.